Hello everyone and welcome to my latest UFO video. First I'm going to let this video play through once and then later I will go into greater detail. So what we're looking at is a 3D model of Bob Lazar's sport craft and I found some very interesting details. The most important detail is just how the gravity emitters actually sit directly on top of a flat ridge which here I've illustrated as green and then they rotate the pivot point of this gravity emitter just happens to be in a perfect place for it to manipulate the craft um, based on emitting a gravitational wave on the bottom ridges itself. So that was the little video. Now we're going to go into a little greater detail and I'll pause um, accordingly. So first let's take a look at the outside of the craft. Um, let's just pause it here and this is approximately 52 feet in diameter and about 15 feet high if I remember. Again this is done to scale and if we take a look at the Testers Models Corp um, UFO which is you know what was sold they, they made a, a recreation of this craft um, it's pretty close match and it's also my version is based on a version I found on the internet which I've just updated this um, so let's go a little forward and take a look inside and I think the most important detail to take away from this video as a whole is that these gravity emitters actually point just happen to sit directly on top of this flat ridge now no one has ever mentioned this Bob Lazar never mentioned it no one else has made this connection but these ridges are actually functional and I believe this is intentional maybe this is in hover mode of some sort basically if the gravity wave emits directly onto this flat um, ridge then maybe the craft just kind of sits where where it is in space. Um, so here I've illustrated the different colors for the different rings um, or the different um, ridges as I've been calling them. Um, basically your red ridge is Omicron mode so this will get you around a planet when you're near a planet. Um, the green ridge is useful for landing and lifting off the ground and in Omicron mode they use one emitter to um, do that to, to keep you off of the ground while the other emitters move you in different directions and then the blue ridge which is like a large plate down here at the bottom um, is probably good for landing and also obviously good for Delta mode so as I play forward I'll show the um, animation I did of the gravitational field. So this would be illustrating a positive gravity. So in other words, we are pulling this portion of the craft in towards the gravity emitter. And that's an interesting concept because if you compare this to, for example, a jet engine, um, you would never shoot a jet exhaust directly onto this skin of a craft or itself you wouldn't do that because it would just destroy the craft but that's not how gravity works so gravity doesn't emit any heat um, as Bob Lazar said the thing the reactor worked at 100 percent efficiency although it was creating a lot of energy it was not creating any heat any excess heat so this uh, movement of the craft is actually this gravitational field moves the entire craft. So basically, this will be pulling this portion of metal upwards in towards the gravity emitter, which is a really wild concept, but I believe this is how this craft is operating. So let's play a little forward, and we'll see this in Omicron mode, which is what we see here, um, we have one emitter pointing down and this these arrows should es essentially be anti-gravity arrows pointing outwards. And then the other emitters can be emitting a positive gravity. So th this would be pulling inwards, pulling the entire craft inwards. Um, and now we're looking at an illustration of delta mode. 
So in delta mode, all of these emitters point inwards towards the center. And in my opinion, they probably emit an anti-gravitational wave, which would effectively move everything out of the way, not just air, but space itself. And the craft will move through that void in space. And now we just have an illustration of, you know, it flying away. So what have we learned from this video? I think the three things to take away from this video are one, the gravity emitters conform to the shape of the ridges on the bottom of the craft, which is a new detail that I found when I did this 3D model to scale. Number two, the gravity emitters are intentionally working on the metal of the craft. So that's how you move with anti-gravity and positive gravity. You're actually manipulating a large mass. And then number three, um, the ridges of the craft are actually shaped kind of like a speaker would be, um, similar to, you know, a speaker moves air waves, this moves gravitational waves. And I think that is an essential part of how these crafts operate. So thank you all for watching, and I think my next video might not be on UFOs at all, but it might be on space and gravity and time and all that good stuff.